to the Yellow and Luna channel. On today's video, I'm going to let a subscriber pick up my blind boxes. I had a video like this up last month where my best friend picked out my blind boxes and I thought for the next video I would get a subscriber too and I knew the perfect person to reach out to. Winter has been following my channel almost from the beginning and always joins the live streams and I just recently made Winter a mod on the channel so I thought it would be really exciting for Winter to pick out 6 blind boxes of her choice out of a possible 12. So I sent Winter a picture of all 12 of the blind boxes and asked Winter to pick out 5 of them. And the first box that Winter picked out was Antu from Penny's box and Winter said, I personally love ball jointed dolls and it will be fun to see them in blind boxes. And I totally agree with Winter, it's so cool to see a ball jointed doll in a blind box. I personally don't collect ball jointed dolls but I do love them so I'm really excited excited for my first one. And for the second one, Winter picked out Lee Ruru by Simon Toys. And Winter said, The style and the pastel colors remind me of fantasy Lolita fashion, which is adorable. And I definitely agree with Winter there. This box and series look so cute. I'm so sad I only have one of them, but I'm really excited to open it up in today's video. And for our third series, we have Umasu from Leaderworks and Hello Dolls. And this is the Dream series. Winter said, I'm excited to see Umasu and space theme combined. The box also has a lovely and dreamy colors. And I've never unboxed this series on my channel before, so I'm also really excited. For the fourth one, Winter picked out Yiho. I used to think that this series was too weird, but after watching you unbox many of them, it started to grow on me and now I'm actually in love with them. And this is the second series of this line from Finding Unicorn and it's called Modern Time. And for our last box, Winter picked out the Rinfini Egyptian series and said a lot of people love Aru Garden blind boxes, which are Egyptian god themed. Also, I'm interested to see another series with the same theme. I'm really interested to see this series as well. I know Rinfini is pretty popular of a character. So I'm really interested to see who I ended up getting. And technically, I only gave Winter a choice of five because Winter sent me some mail a few months ago and Winter actually gave me a Pop Mart Skull Panda skateboard blind box that she wasn't interested in. So that's going to be the first one for the video. Thank you Winter for all of those great choices. A lot of these boxes I've never unboxed on my channel before. So I'm really excited by Winter's choices. Thank you so much Winter for picking them out for me and giving me all of your wonderful reasons about why you chose it. But let's go ahead and unbox these. We've already had a look at the box so I'm just going to open them up. I will tell you which one I'm interested in getting though. I have opened this up quite a few times. For this series, I just hope I get one that I've never gotten before. But let's go ahead and open it up. Thank you so much Winter for sending this to me. If you ever do want to send me something in the mail, even if it's just a letter, I do have a P.O. box. I'll put it in the description of this video, but it's also on my Instagram and on my channel information page but I would love to get mail from you. So let's see which one I ended up getting. One, two, three. Oh, this one is new to me. Wow, this one is so cool. Thank you so much, Winter, for sending this. I really love the white-haired skull pandas. And these skateboards are pretty cute. I absolutely love the colors for this one. It's so pretty. I'm definitely really excited we got this one. I think it is one of my favorites out of the ones that I didn't have. So that was so perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And if you didn't know, they do come with a little display stand as well. So you can set it up and display the skateboard on it. And there we go, we have the skateboard in the stand. It makes it so easy to display the skateboard. I really like that they've included this and they do stack. So if you have more than one, you can put them all together. And let's go ahead and have a look at the card. These do have cards as well as this little instruction sheet. Oh, and this card is really, really cute. This one is just called Skater Boy. And it's also in the shape of a skateboard. It's really cute. 
So let's go ahead and get into the second box. So this is the first one that Winter chose and I think I have to go for this one from Finding Unicorn. I'm really excited to open it up and see who I got. And this one did originally have plastic on it. All of Finding Unicorn's newer series are individually packaged, which I don't really like, but I did take it off. And let's have a look on the side here. I think I really want one of the rabbit ones. The rabbit ones are really cute. I also do love the elephant. I think the elephant one would be really cute. This one is amazing though. This one is my favorite for the whole series. So I really hope I end up getting this one. But let's go ahead and open this up and see who I got. And I only got two from the original series, but I do have three boxes of these, so you will see more on the channel. And the packaging looks crazy for this one. Finding Unicorn always has really exciting bags. It kind of looks like it is racing themed. Yeah, I kind of think it reminds me of a racetrack, like the flags. So let's see which one I got. One, two, three. Oh, cute! We ended up getting one of the bunnies. Wow, this is one of the blue ones. I think this looks a lot like my best friend, Anna. She's always wearing really crazy fashion and bright colors, so I think this one really goes with her vibe. And this one is very primary color, just lots of blue with that hint of pink and red and a bit of yellow. And this one is the shiny vinyl that Finding Unicorn does. And if you're not super familiar with this series, you can see that there's a face inside of the eyes. I definitely think the eyes are one of the coolest things about this series. They're just so interesting to look at. And on the inside of the box, we have the typical fun card. And then we have the cute card for our character. And it is called Rabbity Sailor Moon. Oh, this one is Sailor Moon themed. Oh, that's so cute. And this card is so trippy. It looks like tiger stripes. It's so interesting. This is definitely a very psychedelic and weird series, but I do love it so much. And who should I unbox next? I think I'm going to unbox Penny's box. And I believe this is the first series of their ball jointed dolls. There is male ones as well. I don't know if they have the same name Antu on them or not, but it's such a cute series. Out of these six, which one are you excited for? I really want the sheep one down here. I think the gray cat one is really cute as well. And I forget what animal this gray and black one down here is supposed to be. I think it's a rabbit. I think this one's really cool too. But I'm really hoping for the sheep or the gray cat. I definitely think this one is way too bright for me. <laughs> this is a really big box though. It's going to be hard to show it on camera. But let's go ahead and pull it out. And I did watch someone unbox a full series of these, which is really exciting. I forget if they're in a bag. I do feel some plastic inside, so we might not have a bag. Let's just pull it out and see. Oh, cute. Oh, no bag. So we got the unicorn one, which is beigey colored. Oh, that is so cool. And it does come a bit naked. And I'll put the clothes on it, but you just open up the plastic and then there's more plastic inside protecting the head and the hair. Oh, this one has felted ears. Oh, that's so cute. I'm going to put the dress on it that we have here. So I have it all set up, but let's have a look at the card. So this one I believe is a teddy bear. And inside of the box, you had the doll, you had shoes, two pairs of socks, and then the dress. And you can take the head off and actually change the hair and the ears, I believe, if you have more than one of them. And this doll is so cool. I can't wait to show you it. It's definitely very well jointed. 
And I think it seems really good quality. I've never had a ball jointed doll, but all of the joints move very smoothly and it has a really good feel for it. This is more expensive than your typical blind box. I believe it was between $25 to $30 Canadian. And I did buy this from Twinkle Forest. And for a ball jointed doll, considering I've never had one, I think it is really cool. And definitely the price is really affordable. They can be pretty expensive. I think typically maybe around $100. But if you're really into ball jointed dolls, definitely leave information below about what you think, especially if you already have this series. I would love to hear your input just because I'm so new to it. Definitely, I'm never a fan of like beige and taupey kind of colors, so this isn't one of my favorites, but in person it's beautiful. I think this is really cute. I love the flocked ears, I love the hair, I love the color. I'm kind of sad I only bought one though. I think I need more. I definitely need to get the sheep one though. I really, really want the sheep one. But I'm really interested to see what you think about this series and if you would buy one of these, especially if you don't collect ball jointed dolls at all. And I think I'm doing really well so far. I think I get a bit of extra luck in these videos. But let's go ahead and do this Egyptian theme Rin Finney one next. And in terms of what I was interested in getting, we don't have a lot of possibilities, but I really like the look of the white Rin Finneys. And then this black one here, I think they might have misprinted the Egyptian god name, but I really like the mummy one. I think that one would be cute, or one of these ones, either the white or the black one. And Cleopatra looks pretty cool with the teal. But let's open this up and see. I'm trying to look for a thumb hole. Uh, I don't think, oh, we have a pull tab at the top. It's really well disguised. Let's open up the pull tab and have a look. Ooh, <laughs> this is really a, I thought it was gonna be gold, but it's a really mustardy bag. And this figure is huge. I have seen these being unboxed, so I did know they were massive figures. But even knowing that, I'm actually really shocked at how big this is. It's exactly the size of the box. If you don't like huge figures, maybe you won't like this one. All right, let's see who I got. One, two, three. Oh, cute. Oh, we got the one on the front. Oh, that is so cool. This is King Tut. I totally forgot for this series you could get the one on the front as well. I love this color of Rinfini, the orange kind of brown. It looks beautiful. And the gold and the blue look so good. This one is so gold everywhere. And it looks like on the top we have a vulture and a snake coming out of the headpiece. That's really neat. The tail is definitely quite big on this figure. It might make it a bit tricky to display. And it looks incredible quality. The Rinfini series does look like it's really good quality. I just love all the details. The eyes look so pretty. The face looks so well done. And let's have a look at the card to see. Oh, it's like a whole little book. That's interesting. And I guess this would be the one that you've got. It kind of just looks like the front of the box, though. It's interesting. I think this one is awesome. I'm really happy I got this. What do you think about this one? Did you have a favorite for this series? I definitely feel like this King one feels very special, all blinged out. And we only have two left. We have the Yumasu and the Li Ruru. I'm not sure which one to unbox though. I think maybe this one. Yeah, I think I'll open that up. I only have one box of this, so I'm pretty curious to see who I'm going to get. And out of all of these possibilities, I'm not sure which one I'm excited for. I think this one and the one that is the unicorn with a bow. And this one looks really cute, the kind of snow princess one. Oh, and of course the one that's on the front, our beautiful pink rabbit. I love anything rabbit theme. But let's open this up and see. I really want to get a full case of this series. I think it would be a really fun series to get a full case of. 
which is kind of why I only bought one. And these figures are really big. I think this one comes in some plastic. You can feel it through the bag. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, cute. Oh, we got the one that I wanted, the really snowy princess looking one. I liked the hair on this one. I thought it was more gray, but it's definitely like a really pale blonde. Oh, and it has a swan on its head. Oh, that's probably why it was in the protective plastic, just to make sure this beautiful swan neck didn't break. Oh, and this series is animal princesses, I believe. So all of them are going to have an animal with it. So this one, of course, is the swan. And I think it looks beautiful. I love this dress with all of its tears. And on the back, we have beautiful wings. They definitely have an opalescent paint on them, which give them a nice reflection. And we have a gold crown. And you can see the yellow details on the dress. And the dress is really beautiful. It's very simple on the details, the dress. Like, it's not super elaborate, but I think it looks really good. And I love how you can see the wings from the front. They look really cool. And here's the card for this one. I'll put the official name up on the corner of the screen. What do you think about this one? I think it's really cool. This is such a cute series. I think a full case of this would look really adorable. I do have quite a lot of swan figures though. I should probably take a photo for my Instagram of all my swan themed figures. I think they might have around four or five by now. And let's go ahead and have a look at Umasu next. This is the last one for today's video. And you can actually see them on the side. I know the last series we opened at this, it just had the names. And there's lots of cute ones on here. It's a bit hard to see, but I'll show you it like this. I think I just want one that has a very pretty color. Kind of like a pinky or a pink and blue or a purpley and pink one. I think that would be really fun. We also have two secret editions. I'm really excited for this box. Let's open it up and see who I got. I think I've had pretty good luck so far. So I think this would be fun to see who I ended up getting. And this bag is huge. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pull it out. One, two, three. Oh, oh, I got a super cute one. Oh, I think this is one of the ones I really wanted. And this one has a moon on the top, which I absolutely love. I think the cratered moon looks so cute. And we have this little girl on top with bright pink hair. And this is actually a matte vinyl. So I have a few of these characters, not too many from other series. And I always gravitate to the shiny kind of metalized one or glitter finishes. But this matte finish is beautiful. I don't think I knew these came in a matte finish and I love it. It is so nice. It feels really good too. And we just have like little tents and little silhouettes on the side in darker pink with that beautiful contrast with the paler pink and the white. And then of course the girl on the inside and the inside of the dinosaur creature is blue. Wow, I love the details on this. It is so good. I love the color. This is definitely one of the ones that I wanted. So I'm so happy I got it. I think this was the first series I ever got for this just because that dream kind of space theme drew me in. Just like Winter said, you can never go wrong with a space theme. It's usually really cool. And here's a look at all of the figures I got in today's unboxing. I definitely think I got some really good figures in today's video. I absolutely love everything. Just like in the last video, I think Winter gave me some good luck with unboxing. And I really like these videos. I definitely need to do another one in the future where subscribers pick up my blind boxes. I'm thinking for the next video of having my partner pick out boxes, but I think maybe after that, I will do a bunch of polls on my community tab here on YouTube so that everyone who watches the channel and is subscribed can pick out what I unbox. 
I think that's a really fun idea and I love these videos. It's so nice to unbox completely random boxes that I don't know. And let me know what your favorite series was that I unboxed in today's video. I think for me, it might be my Leaderworks Umasu one. It is so beautiful. And hmm, what would I do for my second pick? I think my second pick is the ball jointed doll from Penny's Box. I think this doll is going to be so fun to take photos of. But I love all of them. There's no duds here. They're all great. Thank you so much, Winter, again for participating and taking the time out to pick these out. I hope everyone enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Have a great night.